Another big story we're following. New York City homeless shelters overwhelmed by the number of migrants coming into the state. Mayor Adams has unveiled a new housing plan to help deal with this issue, but it's raising some concerns among advocates. News Force Melissa Russo has the latest. New York City homeless shelters are at breaking point, now housing more than 10,000 asylum seekers from the border, up from 8,500 last week. With its unique right to shelter, the city has struggled to meet its legal mandate. City Hall today announced it will redirect the incoming busloads of migrants away from homeless shelters, at least temporarily, and into some new relief centers. It says will look something like this. The first one in the Bronx will consist of five tents, and it'll be constructed in the next few weeks here in the Orchard Beach parking lot. This is how the city envisions the relief center looking inside for about 1,000 single adults. And while they say families will have a different setup, the Adams administration was short on details. Local laws restrict the city from housing families with children in large congregate settings like this one. And advocates for the homeless have concerns. Everyone is entitled to a safe an appropriate shelter, and we just don't think that congregate facilities for families with children are meeting that standard. While the city's homeless system has struggled to meet its requirements to house people seeking shelter the same day, the city says the asylum seekers would stay at these relief centers for about 24 to 96 hours, longer if necessary. They'd receive food, medical care, casework, legal information, and possible alternatives to homeless shelter. Mayor Adams said in a prepared statement, this is not an everyday homelessness crisis, but a humanitarian crisis that requires a different approach. City officials tell me they are not trying to get out of their requirements under the right to shelter, but they also have not offered any specifics about how they'll comply with local laws while also potentially housing thousands of families in tents. Melissa Russo, News 4, New York.